Hey guys, what's up? This is Fang slash VA here coming at you with a new Sonic Tuesday video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of a walk down memory lane with your buddy Fang here. So if you're new here, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And definitely hit that bell button to know when all my uploads go live. So yeah, let's get started here. So as everyone knows on this channel... I voice Sonic and Shadow, right? And Sonic and Shadow are my top two favorite Sonic characters of all time. However, when I first got into Sonic, believe it or not, I had a I had a a previous favorite character that wasn't the Blue Blur himself, or the Black and Red or the Black and Red Ultimate Life form. So let's kind of, let's tell a bit of a story here. So one time when I was a kid, I was staying at my best friend's house, you know, for the weekend, you know, like what everyone does as a kid, right? And, well, he rented the Sonic OVA from our... I believe it was from from our library. And this was during the days of good old VHS. Um, I think it was VHS. I can't remember now. I believe it was. Yeah, I believe it was. <laughs> and he asked me if I liked Sonic the Hedgehog, and I said, no, I don't like Sonic the Hedgehog, even though, to be honest, my only experience with Sonic the Hedgehog was seeing a little bit of Sonic R on Sonic R or Sonic 3D Blast on the PC when I was younger than that. So my whole experience with the blue blur was non-existent up until that point, because like I said, you know, growing up, I was a Nintendo kid. You know, I played the Super Nintendo Daily. Um, you know, my first game being Super Mario World. And then after that, I shift gears over to the PlayStation 1. So, I had no experience with the Blue Blur yet. So when he asked me that, of course, right, you know, I'm, a, you know, of course my response is, oh, well, you know, I don't like Sonic. Here's the thing, I, I had no experience what Sonic was, and, you know, and when I watched, and, you know, we started watching the Sonic OVA, and honestly, I loved it. That was my first experience with with the blue blur you guys it was with the sonic ova and i remember the animation being so clean and just how you know how much attitude sonic had but it wasn't that care it wasn't sonic himself that that made me a fan of of the of the franchise he was my first favorite character Yes, I did like how cocky he was, and I liked the fact that he was fast, but my favorite character ended up being Miles Tails Prower. That's right, you guys. Tails was my first favorite Sonic character. And that came down to the fact that he could, you know, he was this kid, he, he was this kid genius that could create things, as we all know. He also flew a plane, and, you know, at the time, I was still afraid of storms. Actually, I'm still afraid of storms, but I can, I'm not as afraid like I was. But, you know, he was afraid of, of storms. And as a kid, I could really relate to that. So, and even Tills' brains, you know, I really, you know... I really enjoyed too because he was a smart little fox kid. You know? I mean, Tails has always been an awesome character. Obviously, I mean, we all know this. 
But this, this, this was my first exposure to that world. You know, it was my first time seeing Sonic the Hedgehog. It was my first time seeing Miles Tails. It was my first time seeing Knuckles the Echidna. It was my first time seeing, you know, Dr. Eggman or Dr. Robotnik. And, and I remember the next day we were playing outside and I remember too, like, you know, we made these, you know, we obviously, you know, we use our imagination, but we, you know, had these pieces of wood that, that was spray painted almost like they were bodyboards. And, you know, I remember that perfectly. And now, obviously, you, you, you know, I end up eventually later, later on having Sonic as my favorite character. A long time until I really got inside Shadow's head as a voice actor. I mean, I've always liked Shadow, but Shadow was always, like, my third favorite character. And then he was bumped up, tied with Sonic. Once I started my channel and, you know, well, once I started doing what I do now and I really got, you know, that black and red hedgehog's head. Um, and then when that happened, I wanted more of this world. I wanted more of this, you know, I wanted to see more creations that Tails did. And then my next experience was Sonic Adventure 2. I remember watching my best friend play it. And yet again, I was I was in all of this game. One problem was at the time I had a PlayStation 2. <laughs> I did not have a GameCube. But he's saying I was in luck because there w there was a new game coming out and it was Sonic Heroes. And I, and I remember going to Walmart, and I remember picking up Sonic Heroes, taking it, and the problem was I wasn't able to play it yet because our PS2 was packed up because we moved to my old brother's old house, which was a miserable experience. I, like, to say I was bored there was an understatement. <laughs> You know, I, I wasn't able to play my PS2, but I remember, you know, they had a Sega Saturn and a copy of Sonic 3D Blast. And I played it. It was fine, but it's like, it wasn't what I was wanting. Now, am I going to say that Sonic 3D Blast is a bad game? No, I haven't fully played it. I do plan on playing it eventually on the channel, probably in a stream, because I do have it on PC, um, on Steam. But I wanted more from this world. So like I said, you know, I got Sonic Heroes. Finally, we were able to dig out the PS2. And I started playing Sonic Heroes. And I called up my, you know, best friend. And we talked about Sonic Heroes and all that. Because he also got the game for uh, the GameCube. And... Now, obviously, some might say I got the short and the stick because everyone knows that the PS2 version is the worst version of that game. Everyone knows this. Um, and then what happened was, once I got into the Archie comics, Knuckles became my favorite character because I loved his look during the 25 years later part of the comic that they were doing. And I just loved how, you know, yet again, they, you know, they had him have the OVA have. Because for some certain reason, the OVA is really look, you know, look back fondly, even though some people might meme it with the whole, you know, you may know, you know, you know, you, you know, with the whole, uh, you may know everything that I'm going to do. But I know everything that you're going to do. Strange, isn't it? You know, I know that some people, you know, meme that. But that OVA was, it still looked fondly 
in the Sonic fandom. And I still love it to this day. I will go back and watch it when I'm feeling nostalgic for it. Which is why uh, Disco Tech needs to bring out a, a freaking Blu-ray version of it. You know, I would be like Fry in uh, Futurama. You know, shut up and take my money. Um, you know, Knuckles became my favorite character. And then, of course, you know, what happened was, you know, Sonic eventually became my favorite character. You know, as I got older, I started to really relate more with Sonic. And, you know, I was playing all the new games that was coming out. Like, I was in Sonic Mania. No pun intended. Although Sonic Mania is a S tier Sonic game. Um, and but I think that's part of the reason why, like I, I've always gravitated towards, I guess, classic Sonic games than modern Sonic games, just a tad bit because my first experience with the Blue Blur was basically with the classic version of the character. And, and I think that's why, like, any time there's a new classic Sonic game, I always have to play it. But then again, I'm like that with any Sonic game. But I'm really like that when there's a new classic, when there's a new classic style game. D the difference is, my whole experience with Sonic is 50 classic games, 50 modern games. And I do put the adventure games in that category too, just to make it easier for myself. It's not like Mario to where, like to me, the only Mario games that I've ever played was, you know, two D. So like I have a hard time grasping Mario games. And not to mention too, there is a bit of a learning curve in those games a little bit because you know there are certain actions that you have to do in Mario. Like the whole wall jumps. Um, obviously, in, like, later games, you know, those moves become a lot more easier to pull off because in Mario 64, which is uh, the first 3D Mario game I'm playing through, ironically, currently, you know, there's certain timings you have to do with the wall jumps and all that. Um, but again, that's, like I always say, you know, my that seems more like a skill issue to me. But anyways, we're, we're not talking about Mario. Although... I am looking forward to playing uh, Super Mario Wonder, though. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, like, you know, it's just interesting that, you know, Tails was my first favorite character. And even to this day, like, Tails is still a character that I view fondly. And he's still a character that I appreciate, and he's still a character that you know, I enjoy, which is why I hated seeing him locked up in Sonic Frontiers. It's like this Fox genius for once can't use his brains to get out of this situation. <laughs> it's like every single problem that they run into, Tails always has some sort of solution for it. And Sonic Unleashed, okay, well, why don't we go see Professor Pickle and see what he thinks about all this? Y you know? And in Sonic Adventure, you know, Tails was the one that told Sonic, you know, Chaos uses the negative power of the Emerald, so why don't you try using the, the, the positive energy that's still in them? So Tails is, is really the brain behind Sonic's brawn. You know, Tails, I like to view as a shield while Sonic is the... Um, and even to this day, like, Tails is still super popular in, in the fandom, you know, and, and, and there's a good reason for that. You know, he's a amazing character. He's also adorable, too. I mean, his design is adorable, so, you know, I mean, that definitely <laughs> adds value to him being a great character. Um, you know, he can, he can create things. He can also, um... Oh, what's the terminology for when 
someone take something from another reverse engineer. I mean, he did that with the hoverboard. I mean, I'm telling you, if Tails existed nowadays, a lot of the problems we have going on in our world probably would be non-existent. <laughs> that little fox bro would probably have plans ranging from A to Z on what to do for any given situation. You know... But yeah, you guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you all think. You know, this is just a chill discussion about Tails being my first favorite Sonic character, you know. Uh, probably next week, I will I will try to have something lore-related. So, anyways, you guys, have a good rest of your week. I'll be seeing you all tomorrow for my next discussion video. Or maybe, no, maybe tomorrow, I might do something. I might bring back a little bit of something. Maybe a bit of would you rather, per se. So, yeah, you guys, take care. Man.